Hello, I am thank God Ibo. No. There are no set down rules, like fixed set down rules that you must use in telling your story. Of course, there are definitely formats to use in telling your stories. But there are also rules which are often broken from time to time. Like no one is omnipotent. All knowing in the sense that telling you this is how you're gonna tell your story, this is not how you tell your story. Of course. You have the right to tell your story, provided it's a good one. Provided it's a good one, and not a bad one. Because if you're telling a bad story, you are over your on your own. But I believe you always tell a good story. Welcome to my online class. Of course, inspirations to tell stories flow from different angles. A lot of people get inspired by what they see. A lot of people get inspired by what, like the people they interact with. A lot of people get inspired by, uh, let's say, I'm looking you. Huh? <laughs> what you don't know about. Everybody has different things that inspire them to tell stories. No one has the right to tell you, this is what I want you to tell. And I repeat, this is a story I want you to tell. Or rather, this is a story I want you to tell. Of course, or oh, maybe unless you're being commissioned to write a script. Yes. But if it's a story you want to tell, go ahead, tell your story the way you want to tell your story. It might be the next big thing. You might end up coming up with a story. Um, probably you've uh, written it out. Yes. And uh, maybe typed it. Then you will like, you take it to A, Mr. A. A. Can be like, oh, what is this one writing? Mm -hmm. And B might be like, um, uh, okay, your story is actually not bad though, but um, uh, let's see what we can do about it. And once you're out the door, they're like, <sighs> and C might just be like, <laughs> that is what is going on in the industry, of course. That is what is going on in the industry, of course. You're about to see these kind of people like they are there every minute, every second in the industry. Of course, you're bound to get disappointed from time to time. But I've told you about ABC, but I've not told you about D E F G H I. Of course, D might just be like. <sighs> E might just be like, ah, oh my god, oh my god, where have you been? Like, you've been looking for people like you before? And F might be like, ah, gosh, man, that is it. That is the industry for you. You want to make film? Make film. You want to tell your story? Tell your story. Just tell your story. Like I said, it might be the next big thing. Don't get disappointed. Like, get a strong heart. Ah. Strong heart, they'll tell you, mm -hmm. like, 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 strong heart. Now you go, ah, what kind of promise is this that you've written? Strong heart. <laughs> of course, but I'm not telling you to go and stand in people's office and be like, strong heart. <laughs> they'll call him the security guy, good red, good red. <laughs> and one of the biggest advices that I've been giving to storytellers is like, don't tell your story just because someone told his or her story. Like, don't tell a particular kind of story, or maybe don't tell a particular story just because you saw another person tell that story. Hello, just get inspired to write something else, like, hello, hello, hello. Just get inspired to tell a story, like, as it comes out from you. You tell that story, you know that story you want to write. Come on, it's boiling. Like, because of that story, you are seeing food, you're seeing a plate of food, and you are not hungry. You want to tell that story, tell that story, like you're being inspired, you're like everybody has the kind of inspiration, the flow, the flow of inspiration. You know that story, <gasps> it's not been revealed to someone else, like you've not feel, you know, someone else has not felt that like, inspiration to make that story. And then all of a sudden you make the story, you, it comes in your mind, <gasps> you write it, tell the story. It's not a crime to tell a particular kind of story. That story you came up with might be from the category of comedy, tragedy, horror. <sighs> or you know, action, <laughs> kind of, or any kind of genre, but just come up with something, you might have a mixed blend of genre, like you're mixing comedy with 
action or mixing uh, let's say horror with tragedy or kind of other things mix blend of course you can come up with anything provided there are, there are all this genre of um, filmmaking all this genre of storytelling I'm sure someone came up with them what about you coming up with your own your own genre you know your genre might be genre of you know people that like to watch TV <laughs> I think this, I'm just joking please just come up with your story and tell it the way you want to tell your story let no one tell you how you want to tell your story they can just be like yeah, giving you feedbacks and then being critics now it's one thing to come up with a story and it's one thing to actually have time to write that story and then finish it up from point one to point hundred so now I'm trying to motivate you kind of let me say like let me now let me, okay now let me just be like a motivational speaker to you to at least please have the time to write your story have the time to bring down your story you mustn't be you mustn't call yourself a storyteller when you've not actually told a story you mustn't call yourself a scriptwriter when you've not actually written a script well you might be actually a scriptwriter in your spirit <laughs> it's fine though there are people like that <laughs> shout out to those people okay. most people have different time they write. Some in the morning, they're writing. Some at night, when others are sleeping, they are typing. Please, you're not that, please. I'm so, so, so sorry. Yeah, you write at night. Well, 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 you might be expecting me to break down a lot of things. I tell you how stories are being told and all those things, but sorry. There are a couple of online, there are a couple of books and uh, well, I'm sure you must have seen all that tutorials on that. Knowing that you have a beginning, middle and end of a story. The beginning part of the story being more like where you have the introduction. Yes, where you're introducing your characters. You're trying, uh, people are trying to discover the characters. Where you're trying to introduce your characters. The audience are trying to discover, okay, this person is this, this person is this and that. Then the rising action, the rising action, then you're getting straight to the middle of the story. A lot of other things are happening, complications, plot twists, a lot of other things. Then you get to the climax. Getting down to the conclusion, the end of the story. By, well, you know, a couple of other storytellers prefer to like start their story from the end. Not from the beginning. They show you what happened in the end, and you're like, oh, "What happened? Like, what must have caused that?" That captivates you, and you want to end up watching that movie. A couple of filmmakers have done that. I know you know those who have done that. That is going to tell you, "Go and watch it." See, listen, 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 please. Don't even think I'm trying to make you laugh. No, I'm trying to motivate you. Well, also trying to make you laugh and motivate you. To please tell your own stories. Tell your story. If you don't tell your story, who's gonna tell it? If you don't tell your story, who's gonna tell it? Nobody is gonna tell your story. You have every right to tell your story the way you want to tell it. Don't wait for someone else where to come and tell your story. Yes. Burn it down. Tap it out. Shoot it. Make it happen. Well, I need to remind you. As a storyteller, more like you're a script writer. You say you are a writer, but you're not reading. You don't read scripts, you don't read books, you don't read, and you are not even writing. Please, what are you? You are a writer. You are a writer. You are a writer. You read. You write. Read a couple of scripts, you can come and be like, I am a writer. I have written a lot of complicated things for my people. But you have not been reading, you've not been writing. Please just go and read, like get used to it. Get see other people's work written out and then see how they tell their own story. You might, be, you might decide to tell your own story in a different way, like a variation of the way they tell their own stories. But at least you have something here. You have a lot of stories running in your heart. You, you, you have a lot of stories running in your mind, like this is what I want to tell you. Because if there's nothing there, if there's no stories, there, if there's no there are no Nothing there, like you may end up just be like, what did you, I want to tell you a story, and you'll be there. You come to a system, you want to die. You're looking at the system, 
They will ask you, oh, bros, are you not telling? Are you not writing? I am writing. They ask you, I want to tell you a story. Because, boy, the garbage in, garbage out. Now, a lot, a lot of you may be like, storytelling, storytelling, storytelling. Uh, is he just talking about films? And I was, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not talking about only films, okay? I'm not. There are a couple of other media that you can use to tell your own story, like films, where you have feature length movies and short films, okay? And other like cartoons, still in films. And then you have TV series, you have documentary, you know, and even the skits people make skits and also the music videos you might be like hello what's he saying music videos telling stories yes music videos tell stories because there are a couple of music videos you watch and you're like oh, you're involved in the drama you're like oh my god what's going on you're like they show you this one as a storyteller how you tell your story matters a lot there are a couple of things you have to put into consideration well you must have heard more about them but there is one important one. Well, a yeah, couple of things you have in mind. You know, there are philosophies behind movies, philosophy behind films. You think these days, yes, people are like, oh, okay, let's just make a story, yes, but there are philosophy behind stories these days. There are philosophy behind movies. There are reasons why you, as a storyteller, just establishing that, okay, da -da 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 -da, someone is coming in to a house, you are seeing that that person is actually carrying a gun. But Clothes. And then you are establishing that someone is inside the house, and that person inside the house is actually oblivious of the fact that someone else is coming in from outside. And that person coming in from outside with a gun is coming into the house. And you are the storyteller, you write writing it out, and uh, like, okay, person comes in, and that uh, doesn't just come in like, with a gun and open the door. You establish it in the way that I'm just trying to tell you the philosophy behind movies these days. Though it's not just these days that's been there, just that people are now realizing, and I want you to also realize. Then the person, the person coming into the house, is of you to kind of try in a way to just is of you to just have it that the person comes into the house straight, the person, and then like end of story. You're like you you establish it in a way that okay, this person just came in. The leg is what we see now. In, once he's inside the house, you actually didn't see the person's face. And all of a sudden, it's of you to have him go in and you only have the camera move. We see his leg. And that place the camera is moving are actually phones charging. The actual phone is charging there and the lights are blinking. Ten, 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 ten. He walks past, he goes into the house. And now, now, that brings us back to what I'm saying about film philosophy. You, as a storyteller, you didn't just want it to happen like straight through the heart and then, but you have it in a way, you had it in a way that you have to pass through those blinking lights. A film philosophers will be like, oh, okay, this guy is trying to establish something. A lot of them will interpret it in a different way. They'll be like, oh, you're trying to establish that, okay, someone is in danger. Red light, red light. Why is it not a blue light? There are blue tatters. Red, red, danger. And someone else can be like, oh, no, 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 I think. This guy is trying to make it like okay, um, um, the heart of someone beating because, of course, at dangerous situations, you're like your heart is beating. Bish, bish, bish. That light <laughs> in storytelling, there is a belief that things don't just happen, there must be a reason for something or a reason behind something. I don't know if you're like, no, I believe, I believe you're getting what I'm saying, I believe you're getting where I'm heading to. Because you are making something happen because you want something else to happen. Because you are expecting something else to happen. A series of sequences. The saga from these to these. Though I know some stubborn ones might be like, ah, ah, it's a lie. I can, I can, I can just do everything. Yeah, yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all problem sky. It's a, that's what you want? Huh? You want to tell a story where something just someone just enters his house and the next thing you see someone in California doing something else and then you see another person in the Ogibi and then you're like you're like oh god what kind of thing what kind of thing is this what happened of course of course just tell a story that flows a story that is interesting that captivates that intrigues that invokes that challenges that you know oh, your audience like it flows from these like what's up really you see your audience that like oh, they want to move 
wants to move his own. Like, it's over. But please, 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 please. Sometimes I'm trying to tell you, don't be like, okay, thank God they both say you should write a story that flows and interesting and then you'll be like, okay, I'm going to write a story where this one happens. He enters the, 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 the airport. From the airport, he enters the helicopter. From the helicopter, he flies and jumps into the plane. And from the plane, he jumps into the ocean, the lagoon, Atlantic Ocean. Me as the producer, that's the guy I'm looking you. I'm looking you. <laughs> Please write something that is achievable. Watch your budget. That is the second, like the third point as well, like or probably the second point. Watch your budget. Don't just write because you want to write. Don't just tell the story because you want to tell the story. At least tell the story that you can tell. You understand? Don't be like I want to tell a story where the the main character just flows like it has the zoo and he enters and he sees the, the, the lion and he looks at the lion face to face and then. The lion is like, uh, and the actor is like, uh, inside the same zoo, inside the same cage. Please, 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 why do you think about calling any actor? Because, bro, which actor wants to do that? No, be me and you. No, no actor is going to be like, ah, I like the script. Wow, I like the script. Oh, gosh, well, you know, they're like, ah, oh, I like the script. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And once they come to that point in time where you are like, you wrote the lion. And the actor inside is you. <laughs> I saw you have the actor. I'm like, sorry, bros. Um, you mean the actor the, and the lion inside is you? The same place. I see. I'm looking you. Um, you you should come play the role. I don't think I'm interested. Well, that's it. I'm back. Well, I'm not a character. No, the actor you're trying to go and know what you want to do. To. Okay, so for I know you, you might be smiling over all these things, probably laughing out loud, and I'm sure you picked up a couple of things from what I said. They are probably going to be, they are definitely yes, they are definitely going to be more online classes, more stuff to talk about. But, 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 remember what we talked about about storytelling. Just tell your story, tell a good story. That's the most important thing. Okay, you can tell your story. I believe you. You can. The world out there wants to hear your story. <laughs>